Hey, good afternoon, everyone. This is Gabe Roberts from Back to Nature Lifestyle Medicine. And uh, thank you for joining me with this uh, this afternoon as I'm going to cover some pretty exciting topics, okay? Um, I'm, I'm pretty excited about sharing this, what this information with you. And what it's going to ultimately do is, is uh, improve you a little bit, okay? It's going to improve your knowledge base and you're going to have, um, you're going to be well equipped with some um, powerful, powerful information that can help people around you and help yourself and things like that. Um, but I want you to keep in mind that this is not just about growing your bank account. This is about growing yourself. Okay. Because when you grow, guess what grows around you? Everything, right? Everything else. And if you can have a growth mindset to where you're growing just a little bit every day, you can see some pretty amazing things start to manifest in your life. Um, so just keep that in mind. Uh, we should we should have a growth mindset uh, when we're listening to this information. I, I hope that you guys are present. Uh, you have a growth mindset, an open heart, and an open mind. Um, we should be growing every day, just like the cues in nature. The name of my practice is actually called Back to Nature Lifestyle Medicine. And it's not just a catchy phrase. It is named this because we try to mimic nature in every way we can because nature is the true model of success. Okay, Nature was around long before we were here. And it will sure be around long after we're gone. Okay, <clears throat> So we should be trying to mimic nature. Um, and, and if you look at nature, it's, it's pretty spectacular. How tall does a tree grow? As tall as it can. Right. But the secret is um, it grows a little bit each day. Okay. How deep do the roots grow? As deep as they can. Again, the secret is they grow just a little bit each day. And uh, I, I want you to keep that in mind. I'm going to share with you guys some wisdom and some knowledge that's, a help, that's allowed us to help uh, thousands of people and influence tens of thousands of people. And I want to keep that growing as well to eventually where it's a hundred thousands of people and eventually millions of people. So um, there's a couple of things I want you guys to be aware of. You should always be hyper conscious of five things in your life, five things. And if you're, if you're aware of these and hyper conscious of them, everything else in your life falls into place. One of them is your posture and your posture is not just standing straight up. It's about how you express yourself. So if you're talking to someone, they have their arms crossed or arms folded, they could be doing this subconsciously, but they're ultimately blocking things coming their way. They're blocking information. They're blocking any, um, I, uh, any kind of opportunity to learn and grow. If someone was to hand you $200 cash, you'd never stand there with your arms crossed, right? You'd stand there with your arms open. Okay, so keep in mind about your posture and what I believe is there's a posture for opportunity. If, if you had to task a room out of strangers to do, if you had to task someone to do a job, you would automatically pick someone with the best posture. You wouldn't pick a slouch in the corner or somebody slacking. You'd pick someone to do the best job who's expressing themselves the best. Okay, so keep your, keep your posture in your thoughts. You also want to be hyper conscious of your attitude. Attitude is very important. Your attitude can be summarized by what you're looking for, you're going to find. And that could be something that fits your lifestyle, something that matches your moral obligations, something that matches your ethics. If you are looking for something to offend you, you can find that pretty easy too. So be hyper-conscious of your attitude and your thoughts. Okay, That's another one is your thoughts. You want to be aware of your thoughts and make sure they're oh, your own thoughts, okay? And to, to really get to know your own thoughts, you have to unsedate yourself. You gotta get away from media, you gotta get away from get us to sports, get away from uh, any kind of stimuli, drugs, caffeine, um, alcohol, anything that's going to uh, you know, be a stressor or a poison to your body. Because when your body is essentially poisoned by something, and this could be even just a traditional coffee from Starbucks, it does the same thing. But when you're poisoned and you have a, a, you know, a chemical in your body or a caffeine or something like that, now your body's under threat. And what happens is 
you activate your reptilian brain complex and you are unable to activate your, your human or your problem solving, um, empathetic, loving brain. Okay. Instead, you're going to revert back to this inner child, low IQ, animalistic brain. So you have to get in touch with yourself. You got to get unsedated to understand what your thoughts are. Okay. And the last two of those five things are your mouth, what you put in your mouth and what comes out of your mouth is very important. So be hyper-conscious of those five things, your posture, your attitude, your thoughts, what goes in your mouth, what goes out of your mouth and everything else kind of falls into place. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> what we're going to do today is we're going to, we're going to discuss some pretty exciting stuff. Okay. Um, with over, with over 500 lectures, um, I can tell you that one of the most common questions we get is what's the, what's the best supplement? Okay. And I can answer that the same way I answer, uh, this question. Okay. What's the best nutritional supplement? Um, what's the best exercise? Okay. We could, we could answer that the exact same way. Well, the best supplement, Okay, and there's many of them out there, but and the best exercise again, countless, countless, you know, different types of exercises that have multiple benefits. The best one is going to be one that fits with your lifestyle and fits with your um, your ethics and your obligations, and it's going to be easy for you to do on a daily basis, consistently, without having to be reminded. Okay, that's going to be your best supplement or your best exercise. One that helps you move forward without having to be reminded of it on a daily basis. Okay. So why are we, why are we here doing this discussion today? Uh, why did I, why am I recording this and giving it to people to, to spread this very important information around? Uh, we are here today because we have a major problem. Okay. In the last 20 years, we have these numbers come out of nowhere. Okay. And there, there's really no answer for them. And, uh, it's pretty devastating. <clears throat> We're now at one in 36 with autism. Okay. We're now at one in eight. Uh, and I could be even arguably closer to one out of six with attention deficit spectrum disorder of some kind. About 70% of our children are essentially medicated today. One out of 10 has asthma. One out of four has an, a severe allergy to something such as peanuts. Um, one out of three will be a diabetes by the time they're in college. One out of three will be obese by the time they're in college. Major depression has now hit one out of two adults. Cancer, amazingly, is now one out of two adults. 50% uh, of the people you know, 50% 50, 50 of the people you're around will be diagnosed with cancer before they die. And uh, that's, that's pretty tragic. And it doesn't include skin cancer. That's a solid tumor organ formations and bloodborne cancers. Dementia now has affected the entire population. We are at one out of one with dementia. University of Virginia released a major study a few years back, and what they said was if you live in the United States uh, and you're 28, you were already showing early cognitive dysfunction signs of uh, you know, early Alzheimer's dementia type symptoms. So we have a major problem. This is affecting everyone, and uh, you know, but we're here today because we have an answer as well. Okay. Now, before we get to the answer, it's very important to recognize patterns, okay? One of the most brilliant minds of our, of our uh, generation, okay, was uh, um, Albert Einstein, one of, one of the most brilliant minds in human history, okay? And he said that if you, you try to memorize all the information, you're going to get lost. And I know many people like that. You cannot memorize all the information. There's just too much. What's more important to do is recognize patterns recognize patterns because when you understand the pattern the information is already there okay so if you look at these six slides you, you can't help but notice a very common pattern amongst all of them um, number six and number one have a, a you know a very very close you know resemblance to one another but they're complete opposites okay one is a major scale and one is a minor scale that you can barely see Okay. Number six, of course, is the most accurate picture of the universe we have today. That's all the black matter, all the dark matter in our universe. Okay. Number five, of course, is our social network, our um, internet, stuff like that. That's our social worldwide web network. Okay. 
Number four is actually uh, tree roots. Number three are plant roots. Number two is mycelium, okay? And mycelial networks are the original internet of the earth. They completely surround and engulf the globe. Um, underneath each of my feet, where I'm sitting at my desk right now, if I, if I drill down into the dirt, um, there'd be anywhere from uh, you know, three to 30 miles of this mycelial network beneath each foot. So it completely engulfs um, you know, all the soil, all the stuff like that we see around the earth. Uh, mycelium is responsible for making, breaking rocks into dirt. Okay. And it is um, quite profound. It, it, it connects all the plant work in the forest that we see. And, you know, roots of um, mushrooms and fungus like this mycelium actually outnumber all the plants in the world 10 to 1. So there's much more fungus out there than we are completely aware of. Now, I want you to keep a close eye on mycelium. Mycelium acts like the nervous system, the immune system, and the digestive system of the forest. And that's essentially what it does. But it also has some uh, respiratory capacities as well. It can breathe out oxygen. I'm sorry, breathe in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide, just like we do. So mycelium network, I want you to keep an, I want you to make a mental note of what number two looks like. And then number one, of course, is our nervous system and our brain, okay? That's what our nervous system looks like. So again, when you look at these branching patterns, you, you see, you can't help but notice this is everywhere. And this is inside of our bodies on every scale, like from the smallest, naked, we can't even see with the naked eye, such as these nerves here, all the way to the macroscopic world where we see the, the universe and all these uh, galaxies and solar systems combining. So this branch network it has intelligence to it. It is the ultimate language of nature, okay? So I want you to keep that in mind as we move forward. And what you can't help but notice is, well, there's a same pattern in our blood vessels here, okay? Our blood vessels are exact same root branching patterns that we see everywhere else in nature, okay? And we look at this picture of the eyeball, you can see the exact same patterns within those individual blood vessels it's quite profound to see that we're so related and this is ultimately a mathematical uh, pattern, okay, of, of uh, you know, intelligence that happens out there in nature all the time. And if we're gonna look at nature and its success, we gotta look at the language behind it. And that's what this, that's what this branching network is. Now, this is the human nervous system, the brain and the, all the spinal cords and uh, it, it strong resemblance to that mycelium, right? Now, if you recall what I said about the mycelium on that picture a while back, it's the, it's the nervous system, the immune system and the digestive system of the forest. So whenever we consume mycelium, it's going to heal those three things, including our nervous system, okay? So this resembles mycelium and it's, it's truly astonishing to see these patterns look so similar. Now, we have a problem here. We talked about one out of two having cancer, one out of uh, one having dementia today. And uh, the beautiful thing is when you ask the right question, nature provides an answer. And that answer has been given to us through organically grown Ganoderma lucidium. Okay. And that's what we're looking at in this picture. It's a beautiful bright red mushroom. Okay, that grows on, it's very, Ganoderma lucidium actually grows in Malaysia, okay, and where we get our source from are trees um, 185 miles away from the closest civilization. Ganoderma has been um, named the herb of immortality. It was reserved for royalty for 2,500 years in China. Um, if this was caught growing on your land, they would cut your hand off. If they found it again, they'd cut your head off. It was strictly forbidden for anyone to have this other than royalty because of all the astonishing health benefits this one um, remarkable mushroom provides. Now, we talked about many things already. We talked about the best supplement. We talked about the best exercise. And we talked about uh, how devastating our population is becoming right now with numbers. Now, the best supplement, the best exercise is one that will fit into your lifestyle very easy that you don't have to be reminded of. One that is, um, you know, quick, convenient, and you and you it, it's not a it's not a um, a chore rather. Okay, that's the best supplement that will work for you.
So I want you to imagine if we could really get something simple, okay? Sim simplicity is the ultimate form of sophistication. Imagine if we could give somebody a cup of coffee, something that about 70% of people do first thing in the morning, okay? Coffee drinkers never plan on drink, never plan on quitting, and they never have to be reminded to have their coffee, okay? So if we could give somebody a cup of coffee that could begin to um, combat their toxic effects of stress, we could get somebody a cup of coffee that actually gets them out of a stressful mode. If we could also give them a cup of coffee that will address one of the largest, one of the largest pro uh, problems we are facing today, and that's toxicity. Literally, you know, 75% of our rain now contains uh, Roundup or, or the active ingredient glyphosate. So we can't escape this toxicity. Okay, so what if we could give somebody a coffee that will actually detoxify their body, uh, address another major problem, and that's malnutrition, and then get people feeling better to where they'll move more, okay? Wouldn't that be nice and simple? Think about that. And our coffee does all of these things. Again, the secret to it is the uh, Ganoderma lucidum, and this, this um, remarkable mushroom has, um, as of July last year, around 3,200 published studies um, everything from antioxidants, powerful and a regulator of inflammation, blood pressure, cholesterol reducer, fantastic for immune system and viral control, bacterial control, anti-candida, um, boosts nitric oxide, so it's ideal for cardiovascular. Okay, so imagine if you could give somebody this kind of treasure in a simple habit. The best way to do this is by swapping out something people are already doing, and they're already budgeting for it. So you're going to give somebody something that's going to essentially cost less than what they're essentially doing already, but you're going to add all these remarkable health benefits to it. Now, doesn't that sound simple? I mean, that's, that's very, very simple. Okay. So when you look at um, one of the things that makes our clinic so successful and, and trusted is that our patients know that everything we recommend um, is going to be good for them in every way. So when we look at the um, certifications of our, of our product, a very impressive line of uh, certifications, US, USDA certified organic, okay? Eco certified, which means it's a, like a clean room environment, okay? GMP halal kosher, okay? All very world-class class, uh, world certifications of high quality. We know that we're giving our patients and our clients um, a product that's good in every way. I mean, this is very impressive credentials here. Now, I want you to study this picture very well, okay? Ganoderma is very, very popular now because of the health benefits people are starting to recognize. And 2019 is the trend of mushroom coffees, if you guys haven't heard. So you'll be hearing a lot about coffees and a lot about mushrooms. But what makes organo different is our our Ganoderma cannot be touched as far as the quality goes. If you look at the two in these pictures here, you can clearly see this one is beautiful, bright red, grown in its natural environment, and that is um, on pristine mountains 185 miles away from the closest civilization. And again, they don't even drive trucks out to harvest this. You can see the guy carrying it in baskets here, okay? And when we're growing this in a natural environment, it has to activate its own defense systems. So think about it. It's growing out there on the trees, and it has to endure the elements. So every time it's stressed out from weather changes from whatever else, um, it has to activate its own defense systems. And that's what is going to increase the amount of nutrients in it, increase the amount of plant molecules in it, and increase the amount of antioxidants in it. And this is essentially why it looks like a brilliant bright red color. Now, the one over here on the left here, this is, this one qualifies. I want to be very clear. This one can be called organically grown Ganoderma because it's not grown with pesticides, herbicides, or fungicides. However, when you see it grown in a plastic bag in a laboratory, and that's how a majority of these are grown, um, even some of my higher end mushroom companies I've noticed don't have the potency of the organic, I'm sorry, the organo mushrooms. So uh, the quality is just unmatched. 
But when you when you look at these that are grown in plastic bags here, you know, and and again, they're in organic conditions, but are they are they stressed out? No. I mean, that's the equivalent of a child growing up in a sterile room, never being exposed to the elements, never been outside, you know, never been in contact with any germs. And then you take that child to the mall and it, and it kills them because their immune system has never been stressed out naturally. So I want you to keep that in mind. There's a big difference in the way these look and that has to do with how they're grown and how potency they're going to be. So I don't want you to think of this as a coffee. I don't want you to think of this as a mushroom. This is a technology. And this is this right here is where the real deal is. This one right here doesn't even come close to having the medicinal properties that we had looked for. Now, one of the things about Ganoderma as I dive into this is that Paul Stamets is a, a fabulous mycologist researcher. He's the head mycologist of the world today. I'm a big fan of his. He does a terrific TED talk on six ways mushrooms will save the world. And one of the ways they can do this is because they're so fantastic at breaking down and detoxing chemicals. Uh, mushrooms are the only technology in the world that can turn an oil slick into a complete oasis of life within eight weeks. So here's a PubMed study that shows um, Ganoderma uh, breaking down, and they use this term here, persistent organic pollutants, okay? Uh, pesticides, herbicides, fungicides. Some of these have a half-life of over 100 years, okay? And Ganoderma can break that down very quickly. So look at the difference in these two pools here. So when we consume that and it's been stressed out and it's, and it's uh, medicinal values are maxed out, imagine what that will do for you. And people, people feel that. That's why we have such amazing results with these products is because they're just top notch at detoxifying our bodies. Okay. So here is a PubMed study. The pictures on here are a little, a little more graphic, but this is actually a my study. And what they did was they had this group of mice and they injected them with an, a known neurotoxin that was very, very potent for causing birth defects and so on and so forth. So when they gave these mice uh, injections of this neurotoxin, nearly 80% of all the offspring had one of these deep birth defects. Okay. And cephalophia, that means they have a herniated brain. Um, this right here means they have a no brain at all. And then they could have a, and then spina bifida, of course, is a herniated spinal cord. Okay. So these were the most common uh, birth defects when this toxin was injected into the mice. And understand mice are transitional studies. So whatever they do to the mice, chances are it's going to, it's going to, there's going to be a high chance it's going to happen to us as well. So when they give these mice one serving of Ganoderma spores, okay, they fed them one time Ganoderma spores, and then they re-injected um, that toxin into them those uh, birth defects went down from 79, about 80% down to nearly 22% with just one dose of Ganoderma. I mean, remarkable ability to detoxify and break that toxin down. So Frederica Pereira from Columbia University is a uh, top toxicologist. She's done some pretty amazing studies on uh, the babies in womb in utero, okay? And what she and her team has discovered is that your average baby is exposed to around 232 chemicals, toxins, before they ever take their first breath. So this is a major problem, okay? So I recommend all my pregnant women or women that are even thinking about conceiving to use Ganoderma because it is safe for pregnant women. <clears throat> now, where this becomes tragic is in the case of autism. And we saw the numbers already, one out of 36 it's estimated to be in 2035, one out of three. So we don't have any time to sit around and debate this. We've, we've got to think about the quickest, easiest, most convenient, most cost-effective answer, okay? And now this is out of a journal of pediatrics here, and it says that uh, toxin exposure to early childhood, top indicator of autism. And again, Ganoderma is completely safe for pregnant women. Looking at cardiovascular, we're still at one, uh, that's our number one killer today in the Western world, okay? And uh, it's still um, pretty tragic. A lot of people die of cardiovascular-related disease, one out of three today. 
Now, Mark Houston, Dr. Mark Houston, okay, is one of my um, more favorable um, functional medicine cardiologists, okay? I, I like listening to his work. And his quote says, there's over a thousand lab markers for cardiovascular disease, but only three real underlying root causes. Inflammation, inflammation, oxidation, and autoimmune. And now when we're talking about autoimmune and heart, that's about 30%, but inflammation is the one that is everywhere, okay? We all have some level of inflammation. And after a while, that inflammation can lose, uh, lose communication with the body, and that's when it becomes chronic. When inflammation is doing its job, it stays local. It provides a healing response for that area. Inflammation is the cornerstone of the body's healing. But the body regulates it so well and keeps it right where it needs to be and ends it when it needs to end. Okay, the problem with Americans today is we are all chronically inflamed. And when inflammation sticks around, it loses its boundaries of time and, and where it should be. It actually becomes destructive. It becomes a very, very um, indicator of long-term disease. So if we, can get an, uh, if we can get a handle on inflammation, we'll be well ahead of the game. Okay? Kind of an odd picture here with a python swallowing a, uh, like a gazelle or a deer or something. But one thing I do want you to get out of this is uh, nitric oxide is a um, very, very powerful regulator of blood vessel integrity, okay? And at one, at one uh, molecule the year, the doctors that studied won the Nobel Prize. And, uh, you know, we've known for over 100 years, whenever you put nitroglycerin under a tongue of somebody with chest pain, their chest pain will go away, okay? And that's because of the nitric oxide ability to open blood vessels up. The one thing I want you to get out of the slide and never forget is inflammation is the number one enemy of nitric oxide. It absolutely devours it, okay? Beautiful thing about Ganoderma is, and inflammation, again, we talked about that. It's, it's all related to all the diseases out there today. All the diseases of aging have an underlying um, inflammation uh, culprit that where it goes out of control. Now, Ganoderma agulates, uh, can actually modulate inflammation through about 10 known different mechanisms. And this is where people notice when they, when they drink that coffee, they notice their headache goes away, they notice their back doesn't hurt as much, maybe their shoulder pain doesn't hurt as much. Very simple, easy way to get them um, inside of uh, one habit they're already doing, and you can start to get ahead by getting their inflammation under control. Very powerful. Um, lots going on with this slide, but what we'll do is a PubMed study showing Ganoderma is a powerful regulator of nitric oxide. So for any athletes that, that consume this, they're going to notice a big difference in their ability to run and perform better. Okay. Especially again with heart disease being number one, we all need something that's going to boost nitric oxide in our body. Okay. Now this is where the magic of this product really comes into play. Okay. Um, Carl and Gloria, wonderful people, um, but they just have a hard time developing uh, healthy lifestyle habits, you know, and, and we see that in practice. That's a drawback to our chiropractic offices, to our naturopathic offices, to our functional medicine offices. Sometimes people have a hard time adopting that healthy lifestyle. Um, maybe perhaps we have patients that can't even afford the supplements they need. That's where the beauty of this comes in, because for these two people, swapping to a healthier cup of coffee was a piece of cake. Piece of cake. It saved them money doing it as well. And guess what else? One cup of coffee for 10 days, and Gloria here had years and years of bladder incontinence go away within 10 days. Okay, um, Carl had stomach pain from other coffee. After two cups of black coffee, feels great. He's got great energy feeling better, moving better, digestive problems or have slowed down, increased, you know, improved sleep, focus and energy all from swapping out their coffee. That's where the real magic comes in because you're able to help people and meet them in areas where they can't, maybe they can't meet you halfway. So amazing. I love hearing these stories and I've got literally hundreds of them. So again, if we're looking at how could coffee and Ganoderma effect um, incontinence, okay? That's because it's a very powerful regulator of nitric oxide. And this right here is actually the detrusor muscle of the bladder, okay? So when you drink that regularly and you get your nitric oxide levels boosted, you're gonna have better all around control in your blood vessels, especially in your bladder as well, okay? The same blood goes everywhere. So it's not just affecting her bladder, it's affecting her heart as well. 
So a lot of people notice that when they drink Ganoderma, uh, they, they, when they drink the coffee, they actually have a lot better, deeper sleep. And again, here's a PubMed study showing Ganoderma has a calming effect comparable to the prescription value. I mean, that's as good as it gets right there with people being so stressed out today. Everywhere you go, people are stressed about finances or stressed about their health. They're stressed about their kids, uh, stressed about jobs, maybe even losing their job. So any way we can do to get that calm, uh, any way we can, any kind of habit we can get in there that's going to improve their sleep and improve their overall stress, it's going to be a win-win for everyone. Um, and of course, this doesn't have the side effects that the uh, uh, Valium does. You know, it says here, um, particularly alcohol, if you drink alcohol with it, it can actually kill you. But it's also known to cause paranoia, suicidal intentions, impair memory, judgment and coordination. I mean, that's a little, that's a little frightening, you know, these side effects of these medications. So um, another one of the another powerhouses that it does for helping sleep and calmness is it actually boosts something called GABA. And GABA, glutamate is the most excitatory part of the brain. Those are the most excitatory neurotransmitters in the brain. Where GABA is calm. When you can lay down at night and your brain is busy, you got all these thoughts going on, that's because there's too much glutamate, not enough GABA. But when you drink this product regularly, you're going to notice an increase in GABA. And what that's going to do is help you sleep better, calmer thoughts. You know, life is 90% mental. Anything you can do to assist in, um, uh, assist in that, you're going to really help the person out a lot. So here's another PubMed study where we look at brain chemistry and stress. And they actually hooked golfers up to uh, ECG brain scans. And what they found were the golfers that had the least amount of stress, had the calmest brains, had the best putting activity. So again, how many things could we handle better through our life if we, if we had calmer brains, right? Simple. One of my, <clears throat> one of my favorite testimonies here, this is a, uh, a little boy. And what happened was uh, he was getting disruptive in school. The teachers were warning the parents, you know, and saying maybe he's, he's one of these attention deficit spectrum kit children, and uh, maybe we should medicate him. And the mother did not, it didn't resonate well with her. So she went to my mentor and he said, you know, how about we give him some hot chocolate? Okay. So they gave him a, a hot chocolate, a therapeutic dose of Ganoderma. And the difference in these two pictures is seven days of drinking the hot cocoa. Remarkable, remarkable for slowing that brain activity down, remarkable for putting the GABA up, remarkable for decomposing and breaking down any kind of toxins he had in his brain. But this right here is a sure sign that his brain inflammation dropped. You can definitely tell from the pictures. Okay. When it comes to the more extreme side, Ganoderma spores have been shown to have very, very powerful anti-epileptic properties. So they help prevent seizures. And that's a, uh, that's very beneficial. Anything we can do to improve someone's brain health um, naturally is, is an approach that we should always look at first. Again, PubMed studies showing that the spores very powerful for uh, preventing any kind of seizures. Okay. Most people notice that when they drink uh, this uh, organo coffee that they, um, their gut feels really calm and really good. And, uh, you know, 77, roughly about 70, 78% of people that drink normal coffee have acid reflux. And that's because that coffee is very acidic and it actually can lead to many health problems, including osteoporosis over time. Uh, the reason why is because when you have something that acidic in your body, you have to go through about 12 buffering systems and the last one uh, gets exhausted out. It starts to use calcium from your skeletal system to actually neutralize that acid. So it's going to actually withdraw calcium and things from your bones. And that's why if you drink a pot of coffee a day, your bones are going to look like salting crackers as you age. And that's the truth. Keep that in mind. This coffee will not do that at all. Okay. Ganoderma has been called the king of herbs for a long time. Again, highly held to be the most alkaline food on the entire planet. So if I put a cup of coffee here next to you and I put um, a glass of water, okay, which one would you say is more acidic? The coffee is by far. 
the, the normal coffee has a pH around five. So it's very acidic, okay? Now if I swap that coffee out with a cup of my organo coffee, which one's more alkaline? By far that, that organo coffee, okay? More alkaline than the water, by far. It, it actually will push your tissues to be a more alkaline state than the glass of water, will, which is remarkable. And that's again, leading to less inflammation leading to less toxicity. People are going to feel better. They're going to function better, everything. So when we look at this, lots of information going on here. Okay. But we can see these are all pubs. These are all uh, published studies. Okay. Ganoderma enhances immune function with one out of two people having cancer today. Okay. Is that an immune system problem or is that an immune system problem? Yeah. So don't you think we should do whatever we can to enhance our immune system just a little bit more? And one thing I love about Ganoderma is it modulates the immune system. It doesn't stimulate it, it modulates it. So it makes it ideal for people with autoimmune. And that is a fast growing group of diseases today. It's the number one cause of suffering in North America. And when somebody has an autoimmune, you can give this to them and their immune system is going to function better. You don't want to stimulate the immune system in an autoimmune person because you'll make them feel much worse. Okay. Ganoderma has anti-cancer properties for both prostate and breast, inflammatory breast, leukemia, lymphoma, and <clears throat> myeloma. Okay. Cervical cancer, melanoma, lung cancer, pancreatic, and colorectal cancer, just to name a few. Okay. It's also very powerful against viruses. It actually has been proven to stop the replication of HIV virus, anti-herpes, H1N1, HPV, and again, some other uh, uh, stealth infections here, H. pylori and staph, very effective against these stealth infections. Again, it's helping modulate your immune system and you're going to be ahead of the game. So Ganoderma is great for allergies. We're getting to the springtime and we're already starting to see people start to have seasonal allergies be affected. And with all the rain we've had the Midwest and the mold problems, you're gonna see a great deal of allergies starting to affect people. And what's great about this is the spores are wonderful for knocking out uh, allergies fairly quick. Okay, These, this is the same girl here. Remarkable changes in, in how uh, this worked. Ganoderma opens airways more mechanisms and inhalers. Here's the PubMed literature here. Again, one out of 10 children have asthma today. Most people have chronic coughs. A lot of people are having um, more coughing fits than usual. There are many, many sources of, of why this is coming out, okay? So anything you can do that's gonna open airways is gonna tremendously benefit people, especially whenever uh, these inhalers have uh, limited, limited, um, effectiveness and uh, the side effects when people overdo the albuterol, they're, they're shaky. Okay. So anything we can offer them to give them more relief, that's going to be safer. Uh, we should be obligated to do so. Ganoderma opens airway inflammation. There's the word allergy and asthma again. Okay. Very helpful for those. So uh, here's the actual study itself where we, it has all this mechanisms in here, lots going on, but this is actually shows where, Ganoderma act, uh, actively uh, inhibits activity against HIV. So this actually stops HIV from repl replicating. Okay, very powerful against viruses. All my patients that actually drank this coffee and tea over the winter actually got no flus. So uh, that's a win-win. When you're drinking your coffee or your tea passively because it's easy to do for you, it's, a, it's the, again, that best supplement. And it provides this kind of uh, this kind of protection against viruses. I mean, it's kind of a no-brainer. So again, uh, we're getting to the spring. People are going to be outside more often. We're going to have all kinds of different issues with bug bites. And again, uh, there's the chance of us getting um, that that uh, Lyme. That's very common. Okay, Ganoderma actually activates neutrophils. Okay, what's good about neutrophils? Oh, they're known to kill what's called Borrelia burgdorferi, and that is the uh, that's the spirochete parasite that's known with Lyme's disease. Okay, so um, anything you can do to build someone's resilience and get their natural killer cells, get their neutrophils boosted, again, you're going to help them out quite a bit. So here's the one that shows Ganoderma increases our natural killer cells and natural killer 
natural killer cells kill spirochetes, okay? But why are, why are natural killer cells so important? Well, they target tumor cells, cancer cells, and infected cells. So again, there's a wide variety of infectious microbes that uh, we need our natural killer cells to help us you know, stay protected from these. And by consuming this product regularly, you're going to be uh, much more, much more resilient immune system wise. So here is a pretty remarkable study. Okay. This woman had HPV. Um, and um, what happened was this was they gave her um, Ganoderma lucium for 60 days. Okay, and 88% of the people had complete eradication of that HPV virus. That is remarkable. So again, people that are coming in with all kinds of aches and pains and Epstein-Barr issues, chronic fatigue issues, you're going to have some major home runs by just putting them on this, uh, this coffee or tea. The, the, the viral control is very, very documented. Um, we talked about cancer earlier, one out of two people having cancer. Ganoderma inhibits, inhibits the migration of cancer cells, okay? Um, again, there's many mechanisms known how uh, things can begin to metastasis, but anything we can get to stop that migration of cancer cells is gonna be very beneficial for people. A lot of times people do have cancer inside of them, tumors and things like that, uh, but where the real problem comes is when they start to move. That's when they become problematic. Okay, this is a gentleman named Mike Webster. He is the um, the main character in the movie Concussion. Okay, and he I think he uh, did 18 years NFL career. I think it was four Super Bowls he won and uh, or helped win. And this guy died a homeless man under a bridge. And when they looked at why, one of the things they knew about him was he had this uh, new term in the literature called chronic traumatic encephalopathy. And what they noticed was where his brain should be normal, it's actually so covered in scar tissue that this is what happened to his brain from multiple concussions, okay? And where this really comes into place, right here, look at this. This is a really, really profound study showing that, uh, again, this was mice, and what they did was they give mice uh, in this group controlled concussions, and they would sacrifice this group after, uh, after a few weeks, and they looked under a microscope, and you can see this amyloid plaque is very, very prominent in the mice that had the um, controlled concussion. And then they repeat, this, they repeat that same study with mice over again, and they give them Ganoderma treatments with the controlled concussion. They sacrifice them, they look at their brains under a microscope, and there's a world of difference in the amount of amyloid plaques, okay? So this Ganoderma is actually proven to clear plaques out of the brain. I mean, that's remarkable. And it's something we should all be taking very serious with the entire population uh, being affected by dementia today. So here's another PubMed study. Ganoderma decreases inflammation, swelling, and neuron degeneration after, uh, after head and brain trauma. Very powerful. So, uh, you know, anyone that's athletes, anyone that's had uh, head injuries, anything else will benefit substantially from this. Ganoderma is dissolving brain plaques and increased circulation in Alzheimer's brain. Again, that's a 2017 uh, PubMed literature there. Okay. Remarkable what this, what this, uh, what this nutrient can do. Okay. Stem cell possibilities. Okay. Ganoderma is actually able to regenerate brain tissue by inducing stem cells. I have a stem cell report here. And here's the PubMed reference, okay? Stem cells is as good as it gets because these can differentiate into around 200, 220 different cells of the body, whatever you need. If you need brain, if you need lungs, if you need kidney, your body will be able to uh, differentiate those and Ganoderma assist that process. That's as good as it gets as stem cells, okay? Uh, here's another one, Epstein-Barr virus, okay, when they look at the uh, root cause of um, diabetes type 1, for many people don't realize that Epstein-Barr virus attacking a pancreas is the root mechanism involved in diabetes. So they had this group of mice, and they give them all Epstein-Barr virus. Every one of them developed uh, uh, diabetes type 1. So then they redo the experiment. They give them Ganoderma. They give them Epstein-Barr virus. 
And the, the second time, none of the mice actually got diabetes type one. So again, prevention is much better than cure. Okay. You want to, you want to be as proactive on these things as you can. Uh, again, Ganoderma preventing apoptosis of pancreatic B cells and enhancing B cell regeneration. So anytime you can give the um, pancreas, you can give the pancreas some life and regenerate these cells, you're going to get blood sugar, you're going to get the diabetes symptoms to disappear, okay? And that's why we have such remarkable results with diabetics drinking this coffee, okay? Their blood sugar stabilizes, they feel better, their inflammation goes down, and here's one of the underlying mechanisms that actually really, really helpful for preserving the cells of the uh, pancreas, okay? So, Ganoderma lucidium acts directly on the longer horn islets and increases basal insulin resistance. So, it's going to assist in insulin resistance. It's going to assist in your body using insulin the way it's supposed to be. Um, this mechanism right here shows that Ganoderma actually mimics the exact same enzyme process where metformin takes place. Metformin is, of course, the multi-million dollar uh, diabetic drug prescribed out there on the market. And uh, so very common with our population today having diabetes to give them something a little safer because metformin has some side effects. It actually will deplete your B12. And if your B12 goes down, your homocysteine can go up and you can actually have a heart attack or stroke or other health challenges. Um, also metformin has about a 20, 25% failure rate after five years. So about a quarter of the people taking it will get nothing from it in five years, but of course, you know, they don't take you off of it. So anything you can do to improve liver function and improve this enzyme pathway, you're going to definitely help somebody out with blood sugar control. Okay. Uh, Ganoderma beats drugs for pain relief of rheumatoid arthritis. Okay. Of course, the rheumatoid drugs are very, very toxic today. And in my clinic, we see many people prescribe these and they're actually misdiagnosed. I see a lot of people that are actually have gout instead of rheumatoid arthritis. But here's a great study showing that the uh, Ganoderma actually uh, smoked the rheumatoid arthritis drug medication in terms of pain relief. So that's something very appealing for us with, with people that uh, we know are in pain. Do we know anyone in pain? Nah, I mean, it's, it's so rare nowadays, right? Again, when we talk about pain, Ganoderma dramatically reduced the pain in fibro fibromyalgia in six weeks, okay? Another PubMed study, right? Here's the reference, okay? Anytime you can give somebody pain relief and they're not taking these harsh drugs that uh, lead to toxicity levels and these drugs have one mechanism they act on, one mechanism where Ganoderma has uh, at least uh, 10 known for inflammation, you know? So you're gonna help these people in many ways. Ganoderma enhances ulcer healing, okay? Inflammation, controls inflammation and actually inhibits uh, a stealth infection called H. pylori, which is a, a known bacteria that leads to stomach ulcers and has been, has been linked to stomach cancer. Here's a PubMed study showing that uh, Ganoderma actually enhances ulcer healing and inhibits that little bug from growing out of control. Pretty amazing. And I've seen this in clinical practice many times where people have uh, um, uh, ulcers and gut issues and they have no problem drinking this coffee. There's not a drug on the planet that will do this, okay? Something that's really exciting, uh, the microbiome is something I, I really take um, <clears throat> and have studied lots of. I, 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 I'm always drawn to the microscopic world around us. And here's a, a fantastic study showing that Ganoderma actually improves the gut microbiome. So you're gonna have people feel better, you're gonna have people age slower, they're gonna have uh, less inflammation, you know, less dysbiosis in the gut. We have more, we have more fungal microbiome than anything else. We are most, we are more related to fungus than anything else, okay? Just like they breathe oxygen, just like we do. They share the same pathogens that we do. So when we take this, obviously we get more resilient and we've seen some of the published literature behind that, but to restore and regrow the microbiome is, is awesome. I mean, you, that's really, really powerful today. And that's what we definitely need more of is we, we need more of that microscopic work inside of our bodies. Our, our body is an ecosystem essentially. Okay. 
Ganoderma because combined with cordyceps, reduce colon inflammation and reduce immune attack. Again, kind of going back to where I was talking about, it's a very powerful immune regulator. So it's fantastic for autoimmune of all types. Okay. So now what I want to do is spend a few more minutes talking about how this is for people that are wanting to perhaps grow a business out of this or um, get paid for recommending this to people. And there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Okay. Uh, this day and age, your dollar is half of what it was last year. Your dollar is half of what it was last year. And if you could have any kind of words of wisdom to tell your older self today, I imagine it would probably be on the terms of something like have a residual income as you age because things are changing. So this is my waiting room and uh, this is in my clinic here and there's my little daughter having her tea. Okay. So one of the things we've done in this clinic, when people come in, we ask them, would you like a coffee or tea? And, and one of the things we do is screen people to where they, um, we, we don't, want them to take caffeine because when people are stimulated with caffeine, they are in that fight or flight. And of course, nobody's going to get any kind of uh, progress with somebody when they're in fight or flight. You're not going to get their body to heal right. You're not going to get them to hold their adjustments. You're not going to get them out of pain and you're not going to get their digestive system ever to work right if they're drinking coffee. So when they come in, we offer them our organo coffee or tea. About 80% of them say, yeah, yeah, I'll try some. We make it how they prefer, whether it's black or, or, you know, the latte with creamer or so on and so forth. And about 80% of the time they drink it, they say, this is really good. And then we tell them, you know, we want you to get off of traditional coffee or tea because they're so toxic. You know, California, Starbucks now is ordered to, to put on the side of their cup that this product will cause cancer. Okay. And we've seen hair analysis of people that drink Folgers for years and they are always full in heavy metals. So we tell them, you're going to have to get off the, the traditional coffees. Okay. But this will be an easy swap and this is what we drink and that's what you should drink too. And about 80% of the time, they have no problem swapping over to that. And this simple little conversation has has brought in around twelve thousand dollars in our in our clinic within the last uh, several months of just having people you know buy coffee in our in our clinic. And one thing I will say is, once people begin to drink this, they they never want to go back. Um, there's been several times on Fridays when I'm here, and somebody will call the office and say, "Are you still there?" Uh, yeah, you know we close at noon on Fridays. And they're like, wait, I'm, I'm on the way. I've got to get my coffee before I go the weekend. And I can tell you, uh, after seeing, you know, thousands of people in practice, nobody ever does that for fish oil. Nobody has ever called me on a weekend and said, I, I got to get my, I got to get my fish oil before I do before I go through the week. I got to get my minerals before I start the week. Nobody ever does that with coffee. It's, it's very, very simple. Okay. So I want to take the tangent this way. This guy's name is Jeff Bezos, and he's actually the richest man in the world, valued $104 billion. And he is actually responsible for what's called affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing works by, you know, basically right over here, this woman, affiliate marketing was originated around 1997. And this lady had a website. And she offered to sell books on her website in return for a commission. So in other words, if you promote a company, if we get you involved in a company, will that company pay you a commission? Okay. That's essentially what it is. All right. So I want you to imagine if you promoted this coffee to someone, if you hand it out to someone and then they hand it out to someone, they fall in love with, it, they drink it themselves. And then they hand it out to someone and then they fall in love with it and drink it and they decide that this is the most amazing thing ever and they hand it out to someone, okay? When you are um, in the business realm of this, imagine getting paid off of every person who drinks it and every person who drinks it and every person who drinks it and every person who drinks it, nine layers deep. Um, that can be, over time, some pretty substantial income, okay? So imagine the more people you refer this to, the more people you introduce this to, it sells itself. Now imagine nine layers deep of people talking amongst themselves and you getting original commission from that. You can tell it becomes uh, very lucrative and the money and the opportunity is actually absolutely there. 
and I'll take it this way and it'll make just a little bit more sense. Uh, this gentleman's name is Shane Moran. And 10 years ago, he got the idea of all this. He put all this together and it made complete sense to him. So what he did was he got a list of 136 people. That's it. And he asks 136 people, so what if it's true that our coffee tastes just as good, if not better than their current brand? What if it's true that our coffee is significantly less expensive? What if it's true that our coffee is much more convenient? And, and you'll see that. All it is is empty sach uh, little sachets and you just uh, mix it with hot water. Very convenient for traveling and things like that. And what if it's true that our coffee has nearly unmatched health benefits? Okay. Now, all these things are true. And he made a list of 136 people and asked that. So when he went out and shared this with 136 people, some people said no to both the product and the business, okay? And if you get into this, just be ready for some of that. Sometimes people are, are a little repellent to that, and that's okay. With the health benefits of this, with the cost effectiveness of this, uh, of this product, it's an obligation to at least offer it to them. And you should feel guilty if you don't, okay? So some said no to both the product and the business. Some said yes to the product only, and we did that for the first few months, okay? But once I saw how many people loved it, I, I thought, well, this is a no-brainer. And then I learned a little bit more about it, and it clicked for me. And um, I've been very excited that I've done that. So, and then some people, he asked out of this 136 people, said yes to both the product and the affiliate program. So, out of that 136 people, okay, that turned into over a million distributors in over 30 countries and developed $2 billion in revenue and put $100 million in this guy's pocket. So that's how fast this grew. And we saw that pattern earlier of, of how fast it could possibly grow. It's because of the um, nine layers deep the more people talk about this, the more people talk about it, the more talk, it just spreads like crazy. And right now the opportunity is prime. People are loving coffee. Okay. So when it comes to the business packs, there's three different options. Okay. And my question to them is, would you rather get paid uh, half as much or twice as much for your efforts? Okay. So there's three, there's three packs. Now, Whenever you whenever you decide that I want to drink this coffee every day, everyone pays forty nine ninety five one time for the year, and that gets you an immediate merchant account and a website. Everyone pays that. Okay, now that's to get your wholesale price. That's to get coffee at at, at a very good price so you can drink it regularly. Now, if you want to make money off of this by showing it to other people, there's three options for this. Okay, one's a bronze pack. And that is uh, $250, okay? $250 with a wholesale products you get. So you're not just paying $250. You're actually getting that much in products. And this will allow you to start sampling out, giving it to people, and start to build your business, okay? Then there's a silver pack, and that's $450 with a wholesale products, okay? Um, and, and you'll get 15%, uh, okay? The bronze pack, you get 10%. The silver, you get 15% of anyone that gets promoted on this, okay? And then the gold pack, and that's a one-time payment of $1,250. You get $1,250 for the wholesale products, and you get 20% of um, every time this goes out and somebody purchases it, you get 20% of that. So as you can imagine, it starts to grow quite a bit, okay? But those are the three business packs, accelerator packs to get your business started, okay? So <clears throat> uh, this this uh, sale has already ended, okay? It ended March 31st, but essentially gave you gold status for $4.99, okay? They have those every once in a while, so keep your eyes peeled. Um, but if you are wanting to get involved in this business, you wanna jump on it now. And like I said, the opportunity's there. Uh, coffee's, coffee is a recession-proof product because when people get stressed out, uh, they never stop buying coffee. People get stressed out, they sleep less, the next thing you know, in the morning, they're they're right at there at Starbucks. They're drinking their Tim Hortons. They're drinking their Caribou coffee, you know, right away. So it should be an easy obligation to do is offer them a coffee that's going to save them money. It's going to make them healthier, 
And, you know, again, the, the treasure of this is something out that that's absolutely going to change our community. Okay. So um, thank you. Thank you for